In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at uh, combining or adding and subtracting like terms and also using the distribu distributive property. So uh, the distributive property doesn't come in until here, actually, in the middle, after a few examples. So in A, it says we've got 5x plus 9x. Now, like terms are ones that have the same variable and the same exponent. See, when I say x, it means x to the first. So those have exponents of 1 on them. So x to the first and x to the first would be the same kind of term. So 5x plus 9x is just like having 5 of something and 9 of the same kind of thing. And so if we add 5 and 9, you get 14. So this would add to 14x. Now we're adding. So what you end up with is the same kind of term that you started with. It's not x squared. Okay, That's when you multiply an x by an x, you get an x squared. But we're just adding, so if we start with x's, we're going to end with x's. In B, we have 8m squared minus m squared. So again, m squared, okay, so the same kind of term, okay, the exponent's the same in both. And if you don't see a number here, it's automatically, it's minus 1 there. So it's 8m squared take away 1m squared. So that would leave us with 7m squared. Uh, in C, now, so um, some people might think this is a trick example. Uh, so, see, there are different kinds of terms. This is x, y squared, and this is just x. So there isn't a y squared here. So those are not like terms. So all you can do for that is say that it cannot be simplified. You can't combine those terms together because they're not the same kind of term. Okay. <clears throat> so that's all you can do for C. You cannot combine it and make it in any other form. Well, actually, you can factor it, but that's a different kind of animal altogether. So for D, uh, this negative 2x plus 5 plus 4x plus 2, because we're adding them, it's the same as if I wrote it without any brackets. So we just remove the brackets, and it's negative 2x plus 5 plus the 4x plus 2. Now, um, so what we're doing now is looking, okay, there's some like terms, negative 2x and 4x. So those terms, whoops, did not mean to do that. So those terms, these terms are the like terms. So I can combine those together. And it's negative 2x that I'm adding to 4x. So negative, remember your integers, negative 2 plus 4 is 2, positive 2. So that would add to 2x. And we've got a 5 and a 2. They're both positive. Like adding 5 and adding 2 is the same as adding 7. So those add to 7. And it's positive, so we go 2x plus 7. Now, similar idea in E. We're adding these two. These are called binomials. There's two terms in that one, two terms in that set of brackets. And so it's the same as if we wrote it without any brackets. Now, they're not always like that. And I'll get into a few examples in a moment here. Um, so uh, we have, now see, here's a 7ab and a 2ab. Okay, so they're like terms because they have the same variables with the same exponents. And this negative 3b and negative 8b are also like terms. Some people like to do this and rewrite it in a different, in the order that it's got the ab terms together and the b terms together. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with doing that. I don't normally do that myself, but you, that's fine. So... Just make sure you keep the sign. See, it's it's subtracting 3b. So see, that goes with the 3b, and this goes with the 3b. It's This is plus 2ab, so that's why there's a plus 2ab here. And so now, uh, 7ab at plus 2ab would be 9ab. So we write 9ab here. And negative 3b subtract 8b is negative 11b. So we put minus 11b on the end. Now some people get mixed up between, oh, I thought that was a subtraction, not I called it negative 3b. Remember that any subtraction can be thought of as adding the opposite. So we can think of that as adding negative 3b. And this subtract 8b, you could think of that as adding negative 8b, okay? 
So we're adding a negative 3b and a negative 8b, which is, see, that's negative 11b. Now, so I could have written this as 9ab plus negative 11b. Okay, and that's correct. But instead of writing plus negative 11b, a more succinct or shorter way to write it is just subtract 11b. Because, see, subtracting 11b is the same as adding negative 11b. So that's why you can actually think of this. You see, this is a negative 3b and a negative 8b, which add to negative 11b. And so we would just write subtract 11b rather than add negative 11b. Okay, F up here uh, at the top. So <clears throat> now this is the first one that I've had a subtraction in the middle here. Okay, so notice that's the difference between the last two examples because there was a plus here and this was a plus here. Now, so I'm going to rewrite this without the brackets. Now, if we're subtracting, a common mistake here is just to write minus 7x squared and then all the rest of the terms the same. But we're subtracting all three of these terms because that whole bracket is subtracted. So when you do this, when you write it, okay, so this is all the same, nothing, nothing different here. So it's minus 7x squared, and, and most people get that right because they just take the bracket off, and that's automatically correct. <clears throat> but see, subtracting negative 5x is the same as adding 5x. Subtracting a positive 3 is the same as just subtracting 3. So notice that every sign in here changed. See, this was positive 7. It's now subtract 7. This was the subtracting 5. It's now an adding 5. This was an adding 3. It's now a subtracting 3. And I, when I get into this example here, I'll come back to this one and talk a little bit more why those change signs. So uh, now, so if you want to do the rewriting again and group the like terms, you have to see x squared, x squared. Just remember that Subtracting 7x squared, that, that goes with the 7, okay? Uh, 2x and 5x, see there's the 2x and 5, they're both positive, so it's plus just plus 2x and plus 5x. And subtract 4, subtract 3. And then uh, what we'd want to do is just actually do these subtractions additions. So <clears throat> this is 9x squared minus 7x squared, 9 minus 7 is 2, so it would be 2x squared. And 2x and 5x add to 7x, and that's positive, so we go plus 7x. And negative, four, now again, remember, think of it as negative 4 subtract 3. Okay, negative 4 subtract 3 would be negative 7, so we'll have a minus 7 on the end here. And again, <clears throat> I can think of that as, see, the subtracting 4 is the same as adding negative 4 just to show why this is the same. Subtracting 3 is the same as adding negative 3. So that's the same as adding negative 7. Well, adding negative 7 is just the same as subtracting 7. So that's why we can write it in this more succinct form rather than having brackets around that. Okay, uh, G here. So, so this is where the distributive property starts. So as soon as you have a number outside of a bracket, that number gets multiplied, or it's often said distributed in or expanded in. So that 2 is going to get multiplied by every term in the brackets. So if I multiply 2 by 5x squared, then I'm multiplying the 2 by the 5. So it will be 10x squared. Then I multiply the 2 by the next term. So 2 times 3x, 2 times 3 is 6, so this would be 6x. And then the 2 distributes into the, the subtracting 6, or I think of it as a minus 6. 2 times negative 6 is negative 12. So instead of writing plus negative 12, it's the shorter way to write it. It's just to write subtract 12. Now, before I multiplied the 2s in, 2 in, these were all different kind of terms because there's an x squared, it's just x to the first, no x here at all. So when you multiply by 2, there's still going to be unlike terms. There's nothing to combine together here because, again, there's still different kinds of expressions, different kinds of terms. Now, let me 
go back up to F here. Actually, let me erase that. Turn my pen back on now. There, now, there's, it's the same, this subtracting is the same as having a negative 1 here. And so this is actually distributive property. See, when I multiply that negative 1 by the 7x squared, that's why that becomes subtract 7x squared. Negative 1 times the negative 5x, that one, that's why it turns into plus 5x, because negative 1 times negative 5 is positive 5. And negative 1 times positive 3 is minus 3 or subtracting 3. So the distributive property is why f, that those all change their signs in the second set of brackets. So on to h here. So this negative 4 would get distributed into the brackets or multiplied in. And so negative 4 times 2y squared, so negative 4 times 2 is negative 8y squared. And then the negative 4 gets multiplied by the 3y. So negative 4 times 3 is negative 12. So we write subtract 12. And there's a y in that bracket, so we keep the y there. Now, this bracket tells me to stop multiplying by the negative 4. Then we go plus 3 times, see, the 3 distributes into the second set of brackets. So this would be a 3y squared. And the 3 distributes here to 3 times negative 5y is negative 15y. And so we have a like term here with a like term here. Negative 8y squared plus, so negative 8 plus 3 is negative 5. So <clears throat> they would combine to give you 5y squared and negative 12y and negative 15. So we're actually adding negative 12 and negative 15. So that's negative 27, so we write minus 27y. Okay, on to i here. So this 5x would distribute into the bracket, the first set of brackets. So uh, 5 times 3 is 15, so we'll start with 15. And let's look at what the exponent's going to be here. See, this is x. So if I write this product out, it's a 5x multiplied by 3x squared. So 3x squared is actually this. See, the x squared means there's two x's multiplied. So if you count them, there's 1, 2, 3. So that's why it's going to be x cubed, because there's three x's in that product. Um, you could also think of there's a 1 here. So there's an exponent uh, uh, law for multiplying powers of the same base. So you add that 1 and that 2 to get 3 here. Same idea over here. See, so there's actually a 1 here. So when I multiply the 5x by negative 2x, 5 times negative 2 is negative 10. And you see there's two x's. That's why this is going to be x squared. Or you add the exponents. 1 and 1 add 2. So this bracket tells me to stop multiplying by the 5x. And now we go minus the, the, the negative 4 multiplied by what's in the second set of brackets. So negative 4 times x cubed would be just negative 4x cubed. And negative 4 times 6x squared. Negative 4 times 6 is minus 24. So you write subtract 24. And see, there's, there's, there's no x here. So it's, it's going to be still x squared in the end. And so notice this and this are like terms. Okay, they're both x cubed terms. So I have 15 subtract 4, which would be 11, and x cubed, same kind of term. And then I have a negative 10 minus 24, because they're both x squared terms. So negative 10, take away 24, is negative 34 x squared. And last example here, okay, so we have a negative 7a, let's switch over to red here. So uh, the negative 7a is going to distribute into the first set of brackets. So I'm multiplying negative 7 by 2, so that would be negative 14. And a times a would be a squared. See, there's two a's in that product, so that's why it's squared. Negative uh, 7a times the 5. Negative 7 times 5 is negative 35, 
So instead of writing plus negative 35, we'll just write subtract 35. And there's a single A in the bracket, in that product, so we write A here. So again, this bracket tells me to stop multiplying by that. And then I would have the two, I would multiply into the second set of brackets, or distribute into the second set of brackets. So two times three A would be six A. And then the two also distributes in and multiplies by the negative six. So two times negative six is negative 12. Now we don't want to write plus negative 12, so we just write subtract 12. <clears throat> now there's no like terms of this, so I'll just write negative 14 A squared. But these are like terms, because they're both just A's, or A's to the first. You could put ones here if you wanted to. So negative 35 plus 6. Remember, you're adding integers with different signs. So you actually subtract the 35 and 6, which is 29. And it's negative because there's many more, well, 29 more negatives in this number than there is in positive 6. That's why it's minus 29a. And then there's no like terms with the negative 12, so we just go subtract 12. And that would be written as a simple form as possible. So combine like terms, combine the terms of the same kind of term. And distributive property talks about multiplying a constant, whatever the constant, or or there could be actually a, like a monomial, 5x is a monomial, to expand into the brackets, or like this negative 7a. <clears throat> and then you collect your like terms. And that's the end of the tutorial.